I had a viewer ask a question about how to slave the A axis to the Y axis. So uh, rather than just try to explain it, I'll do a short little video to uh, show how to do that. I've got Mach 3 pulled up and you go to config up here at the top left hand corner and go to uh, ports and pins and then over to motor outputs just to make sure you have the A axis enabled and set to uh, the pins, correct pins for your uh, machine. If that's okay then you go to slave axis under config click that and as you can see mine's already slaved so you just click uh, click the A axis click OK restart program for slaving changes to take effect now since I changed it I'll have to restart Mach 3 so I click OK and I'll close Mach 3 in session yes and I'll restart it. Also under config you can go to general configuration click that and this column right here make sure this is clicked home slave with master access see the check mark there make sure that's clicked And one thing, I've never heard uh, whether you're supposed to do this or not, but under motor tuning, uh, under the y-axis, when I do my calibration, whatever the steps per come out for the y-axis, I've noticed that the a-axis doesn't get changed automatically. And I don't know whether that hurts anything or not, so I always make sure that whatever the uh, calibration sets my y-axis to I go to the a-axis and manually set it to the same thing just to be on the safe side and then click OK and that should be all there is to it so I hope you enjoyed this little short video thank you for watching